What is going on YouTube? I am Valentino with Next Gen Speed and today I got a video for you guys showing you guys how to store your car for the winter. I got my 2017 Camaro SS over here. They just got out of the shop recently. Bought a store for the winter. Make sure she's all nice and pretty for the summer. So let's get into it. Now the first thing on the list is storage location. Now obviously the best place for you to put your car is in the garage like I have over here. As you can see, got my Camaro right here. And the plus is they have a heated garage just to make sure it's all nice and heated. Not all cold and everything. But if you don't have a garage, alternative to bar is a storage location or somebody's yard or something like that. It has a storage place where you store your car. And you want to try to stay away from barns and stuff like that that have no floor. Because if the floor is exposed, a bunch of moisture will be exposed to your car and make it start to rust. You don't want it to happen to your car. You obviously do not want to store your car outside, but if you have to, you can just build a little garage or tarp outside just to cover your car from snow and rain and stuff like that. And when you're storing your car, you want to make sure they have a carpet under your car or some type of rug. Because moisture from the concrete will go up under your car, but the rug and carpet will help stop that and keep it nice and sealed up for you. And the next thing on the list is to check all your fluids. From your oil to your windshield washer fluid, you want to make sure they're all topped off. And make sure your oil is nice and clean, especially on the older cars. On the newer cars, it doesn't really matter too much, but if you leave dirty oil inside of a car, all the chemicals and stuff like that inside the engine will not be good for you from sitting in a long time. You can do this by popping your hood and checking all the fluids and taking out the dipstick and checking your oil. And on my car recently, I just did an oil change, so I know I'm all good on that one. Now, the next thing you want to do is to wash and clean your car as best as you can, and waxing it will make it even better for the winter. It winter lasts more than a couple of months, so you don't want anything sitting in your car, no contaminants or anything like that, messing up your paint. So you want to wash it as best as you can. And unfortunately, I just got my car back recently in the winter, so unfortunately, I couldn't wash it at all, so I just had to let it sit for a couple of months, so... At least it's not too long though, but you just want to make sure you wash your car as best as you can, especially wax it, and keep your baby all nice and clean. Now, next thing on the list is ventilation. So you want to go in your car, roll in the windows a little bit, about a half inch, or let it air out a little bit. Just to let it ventilate and let air pass through to make sure no moisture builds up inside your car. Now, the next thing on the list is taking care of your battery. Now, either you have an option of leaving it in your car with a battery tender, or just sending it outside of your car, just letting it sit over a winter. If you want to sit outside of your car, do not let it sit on concrete or nothing like that. You want to put something under it because concrete will literally just kill your battery from all the coldness and stuff like that. So if you don't have a battery tender, I suggest buying one. But if you're a 6th gen Camaro owner like me, you can look in the trunk and literally find a little battery tender that came with the car. Which is right over here. It's pretty awesome how Chevy included it with the car. It's literally your own legit Camaro battery tender, which is pretty sweet. Then you hook it up to your battery, plug it in, and then you're all set to go. So let's get it hooked up. Now first you want to take a look at your car and see if your battery is in the back of the car or in the front under the hood. And if you have a battery in the back like me, like in my Camaro, you have the option to either put it in the front or back of the car because there's posts for both. So you want to take a look at your garage and see where your outlets are and position your car exactly where the outlets are so you can plug in your battery tender with no problems. And as I have an outlet over here, I'll just pop my hood a little bit, leave it cracked like this, and just hook it up to the front of the car. If you have a Camaro like I do, you can see over here a little post right here that they hooked up to the fuse panel. And a little ground right here, so it's hook it up positive right here, and negative right here, or black to black, and red to red. And she is all hooked up. It only took about a minute. Yep, easy as hell. Look at that beast right here. Ooh. Beautiful. As long as you keep that plugged in, your bed will be all good and be ready to go when summer comes. All right, next thing on the list is a car cover. Obviously a car cover is a must have for storing your car to keep all the dust and particles and stuff off of it and just keep it protected. So you want to make sure you have a car cover if you want to store your car. You can pick up a pretty cheap one for like around 50 to 100 bucks, but if you want a nice actual like cushioned one that, keeps, that has padding and keeps your car protected, you're looking around like one to 250, depending on how nice it is, if it has designs or something like that on it. And the next thing on the list is insurance. Now in the winter since you're not driving it, you obviously don't want to be paying out all this money for insurance, especially on a car like this. So you want to cancel the liability and collision part of your insurance 
because you're not going to be driving it around at all, it shouldn't be sitting in the garage. You just want to be protected just in case anything falls on it or catches on fire. You should take up the insurance if you can so you're not paying all that money for nothing. Alright, and the next thing on the list is a fuel stabilizer. Now this isn't required if you're storing your car for a couple of months like I am. But if you're storing your car for a long period of time or like the all winter, I suggest you do this. Fuel stabilizer will just keep your gas clean and nice. So if you put it in your car, I'll make sure the car starts up when you actually want to start it up again after a couple of months. So you let gas sit around, the octane will kind of get lower and won't start as good. So keep the octane up, make sure it's all good right when you want to start your car. And the next thing on the list is to flip your tires to the max PSI. Happens when you store your car for a long time and you don't drive it at all. When your tires just sit in one spot. And that certain spot where they sit, they kind of develop a flat spot where it kind of bottoms out a little bit. And when you start driving again, you'll notice a little thump and a little different feel of the car. It kind of ruins your tires a little bit. You just want to make sure you flip your tires to the max PSI and make sure they're nice and stiff. And just make sure your car doesn't sit too long because it will be noticeable. Now the next thing on the list is protecting your car from pests and animals. You don't want any rodents, pests, or anything going inside your car and messing up your car. So you pretty much want to cover the holes for your car, which include an exhaust and intake holes. But for me, I'm just doing the exhaust tip so nothing crawls in and lives inside of there for the winter. You can do this by finding some dryer sheets or towels or anything just to cover it up. And all I gotta do is stuff them in. As you can see right here, I got some microfiber car wash towels. I'm just gonna stuff them in, just so nothing crawls in. This will keep you protected from those little fuckers. And make sure you do not start your car with your exhaust or intake covered up because it will f up your car and could probably kill you too. So be careful with that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you do all the things, you can pretty much drive your car in the spring with no issues at all. And I'll tell you a tip for you guys is just store your car for the whole winter, not try to drive it when it's kind of nice outside, unless you want to take it for a real good drive. So you keep taking it out, it'll kind of build condensation in your car in various systems. You don't want no condensation building up if you're not driving it because it's rust will start and stuff like that. So let your baby sit in the garage and it'll be way more funner once you want to drive it again in the spring too. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Please leave a comment below what you guys think about the video. Leave any tips you guys have on how to store your car that I didn't listen to this video. Smash that like button below. Click the subscribe to get updates every time I post a new video on a bunch of other cards and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Oh.